All right, so next up, we want to look at distance. Okay. Um, how do we measure distance in this three-dimensional coordinate system, right? So I have this point here in space. How do I measure, let's begin with just start with the simpler case, the distance from the origin to that point, right? There's a certain distance there, and we want to figure out how long it is. Well, uh, we fall back on what we know from two dimensions, right? Um, now, I, we've cluttered this thing up here, but let's come back to just a... Oops, lost my microphone. Two-dimensional coordinate system, all right? When we think about how we measure distances in two dimensions, right, if I've got a point, here we are, and I want to measure the distance from, again, we'll do the origin just for now, the origin to that point. So there's a distance d. Well, again, the whole point of our coordinate system is that we can drop that vertical down. We know that this is y, and we know that x is the length of the bottom there. We have a right-angled triangle, right? And we know that from a right-angled triangle, we have the Pythagorean theorem. Which tells us that the square of the distance, right, is x squared plus y squared. And distance, of course, should be positive, so we can take the square root of both sides and keep the positive square root, and we get distance is the square root of x squared plus y squared, right? So that's, that's our sort of basic result in two dimensions. And then if you wanted to, you know, get a little bit fancier, let's say, and, and you want to measure the distance between two points in the plane, neither of which is the origin, All right? Well, then we have this distance here. Um, and we can still draw ourselves a right-angled triangle. And let's say the first point has coordinates uh, x1, y1. Second coordinate has points so our second point has coordinates x2, y2. Well, then we know that the length of the bottom side here is just the difference, right? x2 minus x1. We know the height is just the difference in the y coordinates, y2 minus y1. And we use Pythagorean theorem again, and we would get that the distance in this case is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, right? And again, because we, the nice thing about the fact we square the, these two differences is, um, you know, if I had swapped the labels around so that, you know, because these, these values could come out to be negative depending on what the two points are, but that's okay because when you square it, the minus sign goes away, order doesn't matter, right? So that's going to give you the distance in two dimensions. Okay, so now we come over to three dimensions. How do we measure the length of this line segment going from the origin, right, with coordinates 0, 0, 0, to this point up here with coordinates x, y, z? Well, um, here's, a, here's a bit of a trick. There are actually a number of right-angled triangles going on in this picture. Uh, and in particular, we can draw this line segment down here in the plane. And now, yeah, it's a perspective drawing, but you know, remember that this is in the plane, that this, um, this here, that's actually a right angle, right, in the plane. It's just that we're drawing things in perspective, so it doesn't quite look like a right angle. Um, and, and so we know that this, let's say look at this one here, right? You know, there's, a, there's one right angle triangle, or you can take the opposite side, that's a right angle triangle as well. Right? And we know that that's y, that's x, and so we know that the length of this side here will be the square root of x squared plus y squared, just as it was in that picture there. Okay, But we also have now another right angle triangle, because you know, this vertical line here, which has length z, right? 
Well, that's coming up out of the xy plane. It's, it's orthogonal to the xy plane, right? Um, and so there's a right angle here as well. That's a right angle, okay? So we have this right angle triangle here. This d is actually the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle. So what we get is that d squared is the square root of x squared plus y squared squared plus z squared, right? So x squared plus y squared plus z squared, right? Um, so in the end, all you end up doing is you just add on the extra coordinate, right? Square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then you can sort of make a similar argument that if you have two points, um, neither of which is the origin, just like we did down here, again, you look at the differences in each coordinate, right? And so in general, Uh, of the distance formula is going to look like, well, you take the difference between the x-coordinates and you square it. You take the difference between the y-coordinates and you square it. And you take the difference between the z-coordinates and you square it. Add those all up and then take the square root of the whole thing, keeping in mind that, you know, um, Remember that we don't take square root term by term. That doesn't work algebraically. If it did, we wouldn't bother with the complicated formula, right? The square root does not cancel out with the squares. All right, um, so that's our distance formula. I guess I maybe should have put it up here since we got the heading. Um, there it is, okay? All right, so in the next video, we'll put that distance formula to use in an example.